hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. After the highly successful release of Portal in 2007, Valve comes out with a predecessor that not only matches fans' expectations, but surpasses it in every way. Bring it into one of the best gaming experiences this year. You start off the game as Shell, waking up in a motel room and being introduced by a robot called Whitley, played by the comedian Stephen Merchant, who sent out to try to help you get out of the facility. Being that the main character doesn't say a word, Whitley and GLaDOS are the ones who carry out the story and humor, in which they do a great job on. The voice work sounds natural, and the conversations between Whitley and GLaDOS is very entertaining to watch unfold. And for those few moments where your character dies and the character of Whitley keeps repeating himself, it doesn't worn out its welcome. The gameplay consists of puzzles where the main character grabs a portal gun and uses it to send two different color portals and send objects from one side of the portal to another. This time around, Portal 2 brought in some new puzzles to the players with hard light bridges, which will send players through the air within a beam, and the repulsion gel, which depending on the color, can make the player run faster, jump higher, or make new areas to put portals in. This keeps the game from being too much of the same and gives players fun new ways to play around with both the repulsion gel and the portal gun. This time around, the facility of Aperture Science is much more grander than the previous game. The first portal had you going through pretty normal sized rooms with larger ones at the end. Portal 2 really lets you see what makes Aperture Science tick. You get to see how the robots get made, and going through the facility where large objects are crashing right above you, it's nice to see more than just white and brown rooms for a change. You will also have online co-op to play around with where two players play the role of two robots, Atlas and Peabody, where players will have to work together to solve puzzles, which is both challenging and a lot of fun to go through, but if you find yourself not playing with a friend, or you're going through the game with another person who doesn't have a mic, you might have moments of wanting to kill yourself. Regardless of how the online experience may go for you, Portal 2 is certainly one of the year's best games, and one that everyone should try out which is why I gave this game a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching and take care.